Welcome to the CS tutorials. For this session, our topic is String in PowerShell. Like and subscribe our channel on YouTube. What is String? As we already discussed, PowerShell is built on .NET framework. According to a .NET definition, String is a sequential collection of characters that is used to present text. PowerShell String is simply an object of System dot string type. Let's move to how we can define string in PowerShell. Anything within single quote or double quotes considered as string in PowerShell. The only difference between two is that string in double quote support string expansion, while a single quote will only represent literal strings, as you can see in screenshots. What operations we can perform on a string? To find out that, use getMember command, which will return all the methods applicable to a string. We will cover few of them in this video. Length of a string. Length property will return the number of characters in a string, as you can see in screenshot. Next is split operation. It will divide string into multiple lines from where split character is present. Let's take our environment ps module path example. It splits the variable into multiple lines from semicolon. Concatenation of string can be performed using plus sign. We can also use join operator and concat method to join multiple strings. Next is substring. Substring command can be used to extract part of a string. It totally works on indexing. In string, index start from zero, just like as in array. First parameter is the starting index and second is the number of characters to be returned as the output of substring. Trim operation is used to trim or remove the spaces or you can remove specific characters from beginning or end of the string. For example, when you use only trim function on a string, it will remove the spaces from the beginning and string of the end of string. Trim start and trim end removes the spaces or specific character from the start and of the string respectively start will remove from starting and end will from end of the string case operation we have two methods to upper and to lower which is used to convert in upper case or lower case another method is index you can find out the position of particular character in a string using index of our last index of methods. Last index of method find out the last occurrence and index of used to find out the first occurrence. Next method is replace. Replace operation is used to remove specific character or spread of characters. This operation is not a case sensitive. You can replace space with specific character. You can replace the word as well. Next operation is contains. Contains function when applied on a string, it checks if the specific word exists in the string or not. This function is a case sensitive. Output will be true or false. As you can see in the second statement, it returned false because it's a case sensitive function. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe our channel and for new video updates, press the bell icon. Thank you.